closer look at how commercial airline pilots are trained. Politics now and the race for city controller got a whole lot more interesting today with none other than Elliot Spitzer diving in. Five years after he resigned in disgrace, CBS2 political reporter Marsha Kramer tells us the former governor is out to prove he can take the heat. You betrayed everybody. Spencer, you cheated on your wife. It's good about power. You just want power, man. Did you leave your black socks on? Elliot Spitzer must want it and want it bad. His maiden press conference as he collected signatures to run for city controller was as raucous and chaotic as it gets in politics. And the so-called love gov showed he has the moxie and determination to take all the fastballs only New Yorkers can throw. How do you feel about these hecklers? This is New York. We all, when, you know, when we go to a ballpark, we heckle the pitcher who throws one bad pitch. So, you know, I sympathize with the hecklers. We have a little bit of the heckler in each one of us. At a certain point, it passes the line of decorum, but you know what? This is New York. This is politics. I'm game for it. I got skin as thick as a rhinoceros, and so I'm ready for anything. Few will forget or let him forget that five years ago, he stood with his wife, Silda, at his side to resign as governor because he was caught patronizing prostitutes as client number nine. So you said you threw one bad pitch. Is it one bad pitch? I said the pitcher throws a lot. I'm sure I've thrown more than one. Nobody throws a perfect uh, game every game, and uh, frankly, I've thrown some a couple no hitters. I've thrown some uh, doozies on the other side. Spitzer is getting into the game in the ninth inning. He only has until Thursday to get enough signatures to get on the ballot. But there are many who are eager to give him the opportunity to run, including Andrew Fine from the Upper East Side, who pushed through a solid wall of reporters to sign Spitzer's petition. Why are you signing? Because everybody has a right to make a choice. That's the bottom line. Whether you vote for this man or not, he should be on the ballot if he gets the signatures. Um, Thank for you, freedom of choice. Make sure you fill this all out. I'm going to have to witness yeah, the sheet. Print your name there, because I hate to say okay. your handwriting's worse than mine. Well, one of the ironies of the race is that if Spitzer does win the Democratic primary, he'll face off against Manhattan Madam Kristen Davis, the woman who ran the escort service patronized by Spitzer. She'll be running on a libertarian line. Now at 6, I'll have more on the politics of the race and what New Yorkers are saying. Alex? Thank you, Marsha. Looking forward to it. Former Governor Elliot Spitzer will be facing off against longtime friend Manhattan Borough President Scott Stringer. At a press conference of his own today, Stringer joked about name recognition and scandal scarred Spitzer entering the race. 